sounds pretty good actually. It's not a, it sounds like a 600 with straight pipe or a, it's a 600 with a straight pipe. <laughs> That's what happens when you put a straight pipe on a 600. Okay, we're going to repair a tire here. We're going to plug it. My sister got uh, a nail in it, it looks like. Hold the tire, sir. <laughs> okay. So we're going to pop out the valve stem with a valve stem remover tool. <laughs> Watch it uh, shoot out at you. Put that to the side. Pain in the ass. There's <laughs> gotta be a place to be able to sit this fucking thing. <laughs> it's like, whoa, dude. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. I'm gonna buy the new one now. The new GoPro. Although, even though I fixed this one, <laughs> they don't have two. One on the back of the go cart and one on the front. The idea is you want to get the head of it with the pliers so you can pull it back out. You never going to ream the hole out with your sister anyway. Burn! I'm just kidding. Wipe that fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to get a hold of the head, you want to pull it right back out. Yeah, if it was a nail, it probably wouldn't have held air as good. It wasn't. It was going down bad. So that's done half of our job for us, because we're going to ream it out. <laughs> so you want to mark your hole just in case you lose it because sometimes it'll close back up this one ain't now we can put our valve stem back in ah. that just goes to show uh Little things go in the tire no matter what. Because that, that's on a back tire too. That's not even a tire. Well, it's just this all-wheel drive. Never mind. I keep forgetting that. So that is a that is a drive turn. So it probably spun the tire. Because there's no way it should have picked that thing up. <coughs> We're going to ring the hole out with this tool first. The ideal is you want to get through the, the wires too. Ooh, don't make another hole. <laughs> All right, once you get it like that, good. And quit. Now we're going to get some glue and we're going to get a patch or a tar strip, whatever you want to call them. One tar strip. Don't be in there. Put the tar strip. Tar strip in there, close this back up. This is not supposed to be open like that. Shouldn't have did that. Alright, and then you want to put glue on the hole and on the uh the tar. Sparingly. You want a lot of glue. This is actually epoxy, I think. <laughs> Gotta sniff it. Let me have it put a little bit more on there. That doesn't make me happy. We'll do it right around here. Then you can quit squeezing it and use it to smear it everywhere. 
I'm sure you get it everywhere. I'm not happy. There we go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in quickly and pull it back out. <laughs> so it's one motion like this. And then you're going to yank it back out real quick. Like that. And your tire's sealed. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to put some air in it. Or we're going to bring the air over here, actually. Are going to cut that? Really? Yeah, after you put the air in. Did you put the valve stem back in? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you use it cool? Yeah. Okay. So, then you put air back in. Do you have a gauge checker? I do not. You need it there? Yep. I'm going to put 40 in each one. May have got that a little too tight. Where is that tool? Where's the tool at? I think it got too tight. Don't over tighten your valve stem or it won't accept air that fast. And you want to make sure you don't drive these all the way down in. You want to let them hang out a little bit. Thank you. Well, you don't want to loosen your valve stem too much because it'll leak air too. There it goes. That's perfect. I did have it close too much. I put 40 in all of them. Shut your mouth. Man, I just put this. This is a shitty ass fitting, but this shit shouldn't be leaking. I just put this shit on here. Put a little tape on it. Teflon. I'm not Teflon, I'm rubber. Which <laughs> you say to me, I piss on you. <laughs> That's gotta be over 40. That tank's got over 150 pounds. We're still only at 30, which my brother in law seems to think that 40 goes in it. It's about 35, but they kept going low because of limits, so I, kept put, I put more in it. The reason you put air in immediately and don't let the glue dry is you want the air to push against the patch. Seal the hole up. It's got to have over 40. Oh, really? Yep. So you can turn the air off. The, it's the knob that has that little arrow, red arrow on it. Turn it to the left. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yep. What? Uh, yep, we're at 40 exactly, yep. It'll start letting air out of it once you get it all the way. Thank you, sir. Man, I was just looking at your plastic cap and I just knocked it off. Oh. There it is. You got a little kid I got has extras. They came with extra valve stem caps? Yeah. Those brakes are not pretty. She needs new rotors. I know. That was the next one. I wouldn't get the cheap ones either. So when you're all done, get you go get your razor knife. All right. So you want to cut these off flush so you don't go down the road and get them ripped out. You're supposed to leave a little bit. But. You want to use uh, the pliers because you don't want it wiggling around too much while you're cutting it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to do that. I pulled that out off real easy. <laughs> it was like, oh shit.
this is from over Justin Torkin. <laughs> God damn it. I want this one fixed. You got like eight more in it. This is my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> and your nephews and nieces go in. Yeah, it's not gonna break it. <laughs> yeah, somebody's put this on wrong too before. That's why that this one's That's how they're supposed to go. What oh, about these pants? And they're too big, but I think it's just because I bought she bought nice pants for once instead of cheap ones. Is that the other tire in here? Must be. Now, okay, that's what I was trying to tell you the other day. Now, watch. I'm turning this tire forward. Now, watch. I'm turning it forward. Well, hold on. Watch how this one's spinning. Now, see how it's going forward? Go watch how the other one goes backwards when I do that. That? It's called a differential. That's what makes my go so like when the go kart when I pick the ass end up. That's why when I turn it, that's why one tire scoots while this one's trying because this one turns less than that one turns. So they made differentials where the one turns the opposite way that way, so you can make tighter turns in vehicles. That's one. That's why I need like a. Uh, I don't know if I want to put a lawnmower rear end on the go or a go kart, but I definitely want a differential. Maybe out of a golf cart since those go a little bit faster. All right, I'm letting down a little bit now. Now we'll make it look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Lower your tire a little bit. Just enough to touch the ground. Look at it. Would you look at that? Look at it. Yeah, I don't know. It's making that noise. That's usually where you jack them up. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> 